Assassins. The San Andreas Mercenaries DLC added some new features to the Avenger VTOL aeroplane, giving it some new weapons, some new features, and most importantly, access to the new missions that the DLC offers. So let's get right to it. So to begin, everything that you will need is to acquire an Avenger and then take it to any Smuggler's Run hangar. From there, you'll be able to attach all the new features that were teased in the trailer, like the new machine guns and missile launchers, the facility to carry a thruster jetpack on board, as well as a command module that is used to actually start the new missions. I'm not quite sure why you couldn't just keep it in the Doomsday facility, but I guess Rockstar need more money. So let's begin with the new weapons on the Avenger. I mean, the Avenger was and always has been one hell of a tank when it came to PvP, and the addition of the new weapons did raise an eyebrow, I'm not gonna lie. The thing already came with highly destructive and highly accurate passenger guns, it had countermeasures, bombs, but now it has pilot operated guns? And to be honest, they don't really add that much to the Avenger. The machine guns are non-explosive, making them pretty useless except maybe in a dogfight where your opponent is about as slow as a stormtrooper, and missiles that are about as good as all the other vehicle missiles. Terrible really. The Avenger also comes with having the option of having the thing turn invisible on radar whenever you go autopilot, or having a missile lock jammer. But to be honest, the Avenger is so large and it's a sitting duck, you'd be stupid to apply the missile lock on because you could just shoot it with a machine gun and dump the missile. Yeah, just yeah, just get the radar jammer. And to be honest, I wouldn't really put it past you if you neglected to attach these new upgrades in the first place. They just aren't really that remarkable. The addition of a thruster slot in the Avenger is pretty cool, and although I haven't really used it yet, I can imagine it will come in very handy for those who are carrying passengers. The command module, situated just behind the weapon customization table, is where the fun begins. When you access it, you have a selection on the left and the right, with the left having selections for missions that take place in an instant world, which is basically how normal missions work, and the selection on the right will take you to a selectable set of missions that you can carry out in free mode. So it's probably best that you just do the missions on the right if you're looking for some quick fun without the hassle of having to go through menus and inviting your friends and whatnot. The missions on the left are the actual story missions of the Sound DLC though, and have to be done in order when doing them for your first time, so let's take a look at all the missions very quickly, shall we? Reporting for duty. Use the Avenger to blow some jarheads up. Steal a car, put it inside the Avenger, which is actually a pretty neat thing. Take the Avenger to lock up, and that's pretty much the mission. It's rather simple to be honest. Falling in. Search three crash sites for boxes and then pick them up. Use the thermal vision on the camera of one of the guns on the Avenger to more easily locate the boxes. Shoot at the boxes to mark them on your map, which makes perfect sense, then jump out of the Avenger to collect it. This mission is pretty easy, but I would imagine it would be a rather tedious mission if you're on your own or have a brain dead partner. Thankfully my partner wasn't brain dead, so the mission didn't really take that long. On Parade Test fly the new F-160 jet, and remind yourself how atrocious the pilot AI is on some of the enemies when they come to active live target practice. Oh wait, sorry, when they come to attack you, yes, yeah, sorry. There's a part where you have to score points doing aerial stunts. I found that just doing barrel rolls over and over again was the fastest way to get that part of the mission done faster. Breaking ranks. Probably the buggiest mission in the lineup. You land your Avenger at the airfield while preemptively shooting at the enemies that are supposed to be hidden from the player. When you land, don't get out of the Avenger, otherwise it'll tell you to get back in the Avenger and then the game is like, oh right, uh, yeah, you did land the Avenger, sorry, my bad. Shoot some jarheads. Wait, hold on, you told me to blast my way through, why'd you fail the mission? Just blast your way through, just blast your way through, just blast your way through. Just blast your way through. Stop. 
Take the ride, laugh your face off when the AI pilot that is supposed to be the main threat as you escape, crash onto the road, and then make it back to lockup. Unconventional warfare. Shoot your way into the server farm, pick up Arby Schwarzenegger who is there for some reason, we never see this guy again by the way, make it back to the Avenger, shoot some jarheads, Nice shot! Mission complete. Shock and awe. Probably the most normal mission of the lineup, though it is pretty bullshit. Go in, shoot some jarheads, get to a door, learn that it's blocked and you can't open it, shoot some jammers to get the door open, get through the door, take the cargo and then escape. The cargo bit is rather interesting as you actually have to push it along a track. Good luck doing that with infinite respawning jarhead shooting at you. This mission is unrelenting, holy hell, jeez, will you stop spawning? And that's all of the missions in the DLC. They're pretty fun, but it's nothing really to write home about to be honest. You'd really just do them once to unlock the cheaper pricing for all the vehicles and then just forget about it. And that's pretty much the entire DLC for you. It is a summer DLC after all, and the expectations are pretty low to begin with, but honestly, all things considered, this isn't really a bad DLC. Some of the missions are fun, some of them are... yeah, okay, but none of them are really bad. They, they, are, they were fun to play, and that's the most important thing. Watch out, you're gonna hit the bloody tower! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and visit the Discord channel for all things GTA, as well as rub shoulders with me. Anyways, I'll see you around, folks. Now, including a bitch in armor truck. Hey, imagine what the angels could do with one of those. If it were me down there, I wouldn't be leaving without it. Oh, That's how we fly, baby.